Hey everyone, this is how to shop for your Part D standalone drug insurance for your outpatient medications that you are prescribed by your physicians or doctors. So if you are enrolling into Medicare or if you are already on Medicare, open enrollment is always October 15th each and every year and that's when you're able to shop uh, the following year uh, health and drug plans on medicare.gov an official website of the United States government and then from there you can either log in to your mymedicare.gov account up here log in or just click this nice and easily and I'll be able to show you uh, step by step how to uh, shop your party drug plans for the following year so uh, stick around for just a few minutes so after you click it you'll see a preview starting October 1st each and every year for the following year Medicare plans uh, and because Medicare is the administrator for Part D drug plans you are able to shop Part D drug plans uh, obviously when you're newly enrolled into Medicare but you're you're able to shop October 15th each and every year uh, either by uh, your online mymedicare.gov account or you can actually call 1-800-MEDICARE 365 days out of the year and get help from one of their agents to enroll in a party drug plan just make sure you have all your uh, medications uh, your drug uh, dosages and all the information for your Rx uh, when you call in and say agent agent a few times when you hear the voice prompts uh, as well as you can call or you can also look into Medicare Advantage plans with Part D drug coverage uh, starting October 15th and enroll into those as well if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan if you don't know how to do that I have a video for you how to shop Medicare Advantage plans on medicare.gov so uh, look into my YouTube channel at Michael C. Fishbach at uh, Medicare Savings and I have that video for you that premiered just a few uh, minutes ago right here. Um, and I'll get into how I help folks save their hard-earned retirement dollars and help you save from your costly Medicare mistakes if you're brand new to Medicare or new to Part B. Uh, so if you need help with that we have a free service there at medicare savings but let's get started with shopping your party drug plan coverage for the following year here so click on here um, for me and i'm just going to show you step by step how it looks uh, if you are logged in so you just answer a few quick questions and you want to uh, know which type they want to know which type of coverage you're looking for and so if you have original medicare which is the federal fee-for-service program started in 1965 and began with the first policyholders in 1966. It's the largest primary uh, health insurance payer in the United States. Uh, majority of Americans pay, uh, choose original Medicare for their uh, medical services and supplies and durable medical equipments, treatments, preventative services so if you chose original Medicare as your pathway for your Medicare health services then you'll wanna uh, shop your party drug plan which is the outpatient drug coverage or uh, sometimes known as your pharmacy card that you use uh, at the pharmacies uh, for your to pick up your medications so from there you just type in your local zip code make sure your county's correct if you're getting extra help or services or getting help uh, with paying your uh, your costs <clears throat> make sure you click on one of these uh, for this particular case we're going to say no and then uh, move forward from there and then Medicare will want to uh, confirm your drug list I've already inputted some tier 1 uh, tier 2 medications uh, high blood pressure high cholesterol you know, um, uh, uh, acid reflux medications, uh, as well as uh, a diabetic medications, metformin. So you'll want to do that by adding a drug and just say it's a, 
hydro chloro Zide, another high blood pressure <clears throat> you'll add the drug you'll make sure of the dosages and this is a good uh, good place for your friend or family member to help you if you're not so savvy on the internet uh, but uh, the younger folks are make sure you know like and trust them and so that way you can keep your uh, Medicare information private and also your login information so put the dosages put the quantity the frequency if you get it every three months put uh, that in there and then once you're done done with your drug list you just click done adding medications and then you can choose up to five pharmacies uh, um, you can filter the actual pharmacies uh, by distance if you're in a more rural area you want to choose a 10 or 25 miles I've already chosen my pharmacies I've said this in past videos before always um, click on the mail order pharmacy that uh, there is a growing trend of more uh, Part D drug plans uh, health insurance or Part D drug companies uh, to lower uh, drug costs and show a better drug pricing or retail pricing uh, uh, for mail order so that's not always the case but we're going to take a look here and then choose your local pharmacies and you know some common ones obviously CVS Walmart um, and um, maybe even a local one you can't see it here but you can click done over here in the uh, bottom right hand corner and then it will quickly show you the following years uh, drug plans and it, you can look at uh, the star rating but it'll, it'll show you uh, uh, by default lowest drug and premium cost and so there's 24 drug plans for this particular case for this particular market and uh, medicare.gov is the best uh, marketplace solution to, sh to shop all the Part D drug plans in your area because they administer uh, enrollment into Part D and they track your Medicare uh, Part D drug plan spending okay so as you can see the this one's a very affordable premium to start off with with a high rating from Aetna. Um, it's six dollars and ninety cents which is really really uh, affordable uh, as you you can also see that uh, the yearly drug cost is very manageable as well uh, if you look at the retail pharmacy compared to the mail order pharmacy um, there is a couple dollars lower if you want to get into the actual side-by-side -side, uh, of the pharmacy networks as well as the drug costs you can see uh, which which uh, which Avenue is best for you now uh, for this particular situation uh, it looks like the mail order pharmacy is uh, slightly better than uh, some of the retail which is kind of nice and it's uh, pretty convenient uh, to get it mailed to you all right so and you can obviously look at the overview of the plan so after you look at some of the plan details the for the party drug plans and you want to compare the the not only the yearly uh, drug and premium cost but also the the, the deduct deductible so it looks like for uh, the, this following year the drug deductible has gone up from 445 to 480 uh, for 2022 um, you'll have to check it for whatever year you're watching this and then from here just look at the cost and cost sharing but it looks like uh, for this particular situation uh, the best bang for the buck and dollar for dollar um, value is this lowest premium on with uh, with uh, this particular uh, PDP or drug plan company now I I am going to show you uh, what uh, uh, medication that may give you sticker shock and so stick around if you're one of those folks that are taking more uh, medications that are higher tier so you just pick on uh, typically when uh, open enrollment starts you'll see an enrollment button and you can easily enroll on mymedicare.gov or your mymedicare.gov account but I'm going to do a 
audible here and go back to the actual drugs so if you have a your drug list and the great thing about your my medicare uh, dot gov account is that your drug list stays the same when you have an online account and you can edit it as you um, as you go through your Medicare journey so I'm gonna add a tier 3 or tier 4 medication for osteoporosis and if you're brand new to Medicare and you are uh, on your group health insurance or union coverage and all your higher tier medications were being covered this is where some sticker shock may lie for you so you want to make sure that you have uh, your doctors advocate for you and I'm going to tell you how to do that in just a uh, after I'm finished with this so 40 is for osteoporosis but there is a generic version so I'm just going to add the generic I'm going to put it in there and then you can you and then you'll say you're done adding drugs um, you'll have the same pharmacies and so as you can see you can um, kind of play around with the actual uh, uh, drug list to see what the best option is for you okay so so now you can clearly see the monthly premium has gone up and it looks like the yearly drug and premium and premium cost has gone up too for both retail and mail order so uh, let's look at the plan details to show you why all right all the pharmacies are in network and as you can see here's the tier 1 tier 2 and then when you get to the tier 3 or tier 4 medication depending on the uh, uh, the, the Part D drug plan um, if they do not cover it and it shows a high out-of-pocket expense for you uh, you know this one's seven thousand dollars or five thousand dollars then you obviously will have some sticker shock but this is when you uh, call up the the party drug plan company uh, directly and they'll tell you the process of how to appeal that or to a to see if you can get your your tier 3 or tier 4 medication that you've been um, that you've been uh, taking while on group health insurance or other coverage to see if you can get it covered under the formulary now this is where you will have to get your doctor to make to uh, help you uh, to show that it is, it is medically necessary for you to take it um, the other option is uh, to call the drug uh, plan company directly and uh, ask about what the the alternatives are that are included on their f drug list or formulary and that has helped a lot of Americans save some of their retirement dollars because uh, if they couldn't get the brand name medication that they they were used to but they could get an alternative and if the doctor if you take uh, if you take that um, drug name or drug list into your doctor's office make sure uh, that your doctor approves of any alternatives then you can uh, drastically lower some of your out-of-pocket expense on your party drug coverage for medications that are a uh, high out-of-pocket expense because they're not included in the formulary or drug list of uh, the Part D drug plans so currently right now just to give you guys an update uh, Medicare does not negotiate drug prices with the manufacturers um, so, but they are in the works uh, right now and speaking about that uh, in the current news so after you uh, realize that you need to uh, shop the, uh, the drug plans be more proactive and speaking with your doctor about your medications if you have some sticker shock uh, when October 15th hits you'll know uh, exactly what to expect and how to shop for your uh, your current prescribed medications if you are have limited resources they do have what's called extra help program uh, to help pay for party drug plan premiums um, and so uh, make sure you uh, pursue every avenue uh, while you're on your Medicare journey for your Part D drug coverage because it's just not as straightforward as uh, group health insurance uh, that typically covers higher tier medications um, so for Part D drug plans for Medicare currently right now you know there's uh, this Part D drug coverage that was um, uh, uh, 
was designed and, and, and administered uh, back in 2006 and they're still uh, trying to make it uh, better and better and hopefully the whatever they're talking about in the news about negotiating drug prices for a Medicare beneficiary goes through in the future but you can always um, uh, keep up to date with that on uh, a news channel like mine on YouTube Michael C. Fishbach Medicare Savings if you have questions about shopping your bar Part D drug plan coverages, you can always call 1-800-MEDICARE directly, listen for the voice prompts, and uh, say agent, agent a few times to ask your specific, your general or specific drug uh, medication, uh, Part D drug plan questions. So I hope this has helped y'all. If you do have questions about not only your Part D drug plan, uh, but your Medigap insurance that increases over time, that's where we have a free done for you solution service here at Medicare Savings to help lower down your Medigap premiums since majority of Americans do not shop those rates those premiums increase over time so does your so does your party drug plan as so does your Medicare Advantage plan coverages so I hope this has helped God bless take care guys